him who built the valleys and plains. Praise the wonders our God has done in every heart that sees. Glory and praise to our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today the Church celebrates our holy guardian angels. The Lord makes, makes sure that we are guided and protected by this, through these angels. Let us praise the Lord for this precious gift. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge that many times we don't follow our guardian angels and do our own will. Let us ask God's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light and hope to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your unfathomable providence are pleased to send your holy angels to guard us, hear our supplication as we cry to you, that we may always be defended by their protection and rejoice eternally in their company. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered his friends and said, I know well that it is so, but how can a man be justified before God? Should one wish to contend with him, he could not answer him once in a thousand times. God is wise in heart and mighty in strength, who has withstood him and remained unscathed. He removes the mountains before they know it. He overturns them in his anger. He shakes the earth out of its place, and the pillars beneath it tremble. He commands the sun, and it rises not. He seals up the stars. He alone stretches out the heavens and treads upon the crest of the sea. He made the bear and Orion, the Pleiades and the constellations, of the south. He does great things past finding out, marvelous things beyond reckoning. Should he come near me, I see him not. Should he pass by, I am not aware of him. Should he seize me forcibly, who can say him nay? Who can say to him, what are you doing? How much less shall I give him any answer or choose out arguments against him? Even though I were right, I could not answer him, but should rather beg for what was due me. If I appealed to him and he answered my call, 
I could not believe that he would hearken to my words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Daily I call upon you, O Lord, to you stretch out my hands. Will you work wonders for the dead? Will the shades arise to give you thanks? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Do they declare your mercy in the grave, your faithfulness among those who have perished? Are your wonders made known in the darkness? Are your justice in the land of oblivion? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. But I, O Lord, cry out to you. With my morning prayer, I wait upon you. Why, O Lord, do you reject me? Why hide from me your face? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Please stand. <laughs> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called the child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like little children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please Good morning. Be From the Gospel just read, we we are taught two things. Angels are created, number one, to give eternal praise to God. Jesus said, All, See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon, always look upon the face of the heavenly Father. That is the first function of angels, to look upon the face of the Heavenly Father, to give perpetual adoration to the Father, to God. They are spirits. They don't have bodies. Some of them assume bodies, like Raphael in the Old Testament but they are pure spirits. They are created to adore the Lord. But the second reminder of this gospel is each of us has angels. Jesus said, See that you do not despise one of these little ones. Be careful. Huh? Be careful. For I say to you, that their 
angels in heaven. So, mismo si Kristo na, mismo si Jesus na nagsabi na yung kanilang mga anghel, no, wag, no, mag-ingat kayo, ha? Mag-ingat kayo na, mag, na wag kayo maging dahilan ng pagkakasala ng mga taong ito sapagkat ang kanilang mga anghel sa langit. So, our belief in guardian angels is based on the scriptures that we have angels that guide us, that protect us. And this is something that we should be grateful for, especially today that we celebrate the memorial of our guardian angels. God so loved us that He is pro providing us with protectors. Kaya kapag kayo ay medyo nag-aalinlangan, kapag medyo natutokso, tawag kayo sa inyong Anghel de la Guardia. Sabihin nyo, Angel of God, protect me. Naglakat, naglalakad kayo sa dilim, no? natatakot kayo. Sabihin nyo, Angel of God, my guardian angel, protect me. Gustong-gusto mo nang sapakin yung kasama mo sa trabaho. Sabihin mo, Angel of God, my guardian angel, prevent me. Give me patience. Call on your guardian angels. They will pray for you. They will pray for us. They will inspire us. They will guide us. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here. Taposin nyo na yung poem. Bahala na kayo doon. So that's one. Today, we are being reminded that God is so loving that He is giving each and every one of us angels to protect us. But the second challenge is this. The second challenge to us is, though we are not spirits, though we are made of body, material, matter, we are also invited to be angels to one another without wings. No? Hindi ba kung minsan sinasabi natin sa Tagalog, nako, magdilang anghel ka sana. No? In other words, minabanggit yung isang kaibigan mo, no? sasabihin natin, magdilang anghel ka sana. Ibig sabihin, yung sinabi mo sanang maganda, mangyari. Let us be angels to one another. Let us protect each other. Let us inspire each other. Huwag yung pag nakikita kayo ng kasama niyo sa bahay, ang nakikita niya ay demonyo. No? Okay, Diyos ko, pag nakikita ko yan, demonyo na aalala ko eh. Hindi. Let us be angels to one another. Because just as angels, the real spirits, angels, are meant to guide us and lead us to heaven, no, yun naman ang purpose din eh, akayin tayo patungo sa langit. Sana ang bawat isa din sa atin ay maging tagapag-akay ng bawat isa patungong langit. That is one of the important jobs of angels to guide us and lead us to heaven. And when we become angels to one another, we should bring each other to heaven. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this beautiful feast of our guardian angels, let us thank the Lord for the gift of angels to each and every one of us, and let us be angels to each other. Nakikita niyo ba sa akin yung anghel? Hopefully. Amen.
Please stand. We present our needs before God, our Father, whose Son, Jesus Christ, has called us to follow Him. With confidence, we pray for the grace to accept that calling. To every petition, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church and all those engaged in preaching the Word of God may persevere in their commitment to follow Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our community may be renewed from day to day through faith in the Word of God, calling us to a better life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those of us who have lost hope because of our sins may realize that Christ, our leader, walks with us and carries the cross with us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are weakened by sickness or infirmity may be assured of God's comfort through the care and support of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead who followed Jesus in this life may enter God's presence forever in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father in heaven, in our desire to follow in the footsteps of your Son, make us one in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. <coughs> Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring before you as we venerate your holy angels and graciously grant that under their constant protection, we may be delivered from present dangers and brought happily to life eternal. Through Amen. Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory. And by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him, 
the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exultant adoration, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. 
my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. As you are pleased to nourish us for eternal life with, with so great a sacrament, O Lord, direct us by the ministry of angels into the way of salvation and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, it's Wednesday again, and uh, we invite you tonight at 9 p.m. to join us in our Wednesday family rosary. And uh, tonight, the praying of the rosary will be led by the community of the Diocesan Shrine and Parish of St. Therese of the Child Jesus in Marcos Highway, Antipolo City. So that will be at 9, nine, nine, nine o'clock uh, through the Facebook page of the Manila Cathedral. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Oh.